Okay, so let's try some. <laughs> hey frugivore, welcome back to the Garden of Freedom. On this channel we make delicious, easy, raw vegan and vegan recipes here in the jungle. And this recipe today is delicious. It is sweet and sour tamarind noodles. Okay, it's raw vegan, no cooked, and we're just gonna get straight into it. Okay, so what we're gonna start with first is the noodles. And the noodles is actually made out of zucchini or courgette and cucumber, and also coconut, fresh coconut from our land. And I'm gonna show you how to make noodles of the coconut flesh, but first we're gonna do some spiralizing. And this is a spiralizer that I use, it's a Japanese one, it's amazing. I'm gonna have a link down below if you wanna get it too. It's just, it's incredible. And I'm gonna show you how to use it, very, very simple. What we do first is peel the zucchini. So in this one I've got cucumber, exact amounts are gonna be down in the description below, but um, I've got cucumber and zucchini, so peel it up. The only reason I recommend peeling it is so you get that like white noodle effect, but you can just leave the skin on. If it's organic, just go for it, leave the skin on. And, all right. See here you can just throw like the compost in the garden, you know, you're not, um, we're not in a unit or anything where we have to like collect it and take it somewhere, we just throw it in the garden and it nourishes the plants. So cut the ends off, you want to get a good blunt end like that or it won't work properly and this one is only big enough for half a zucchini or a cucumber at a time so cut it in half, very simple, there we go. Um, Okay, so it has to fit underneath here, and it's got the prongs, okay, and then we spin it. You've got to make sure it's like stable when it's spinning, or else you, it's just going to cut the noodles and you're just going to get cut pieces. You're not going to get this beautiful noodly effect. And honestly, much healthier than having cooked pasta or noodles, that is for sure. This is made out of vegetable matter, which is amazing. So check it out, Japanese Spiralize. I highly rec recommend it. Over 15 years, I've been using one similar to this. And there you go. The noodles. Great, huh? And so we're going to dump the whole one I did earlier. It's a big one. This is a big noodle dish. All right, so you've got your beautiful noodles to begin with. Next up is the coconut. So, like I said, harvested from our land. It's a little bit hard for me to hold this and <laughs> demonstrate, but this one just, you pull it around. You know, you can stop in between if you want, but I find this like a, a great little gadget and we'll probably have a link for this as well. You may as well just, you know, Take the tips from me who's been at it for like over 15 years. I do know a thing or two when it comes to raw vegan. Um, and then we got some noodles. But of course you don't need this device. You can just do it with a knife. Just get creative. Um, okay, so you can get the rest out with a spoon. Just put it on. You know, just get it as close to noodles as you can. If you're eating it at home and you're not wanting to impress anyone, it doesn't really matter, does it? just get the coconut in there but you know the mouth feel is important you want it to be noodlish and this definitely works usually I would put more in than this maybe like maybe two young coconuts okay so I have a little bit I prepared earlier we put that in as well March fly getting me now I need a fork Okay, so this is the base of the noodle dish, okay? You can just adjust it how you want, if you want less zucchini, whatever. But this is what we got so far. Now we're going to make the sauce. All right, so sweet and sour tamarind sauce is coming up. So whether you've got a lot of weight to lose or a small amount of weight to lose, Raw to 4 is going to sort you out. A fruit-based diet is going to slim you down. 
It's just how you're meant to eat. So your body is going to find its happy place. You just got to be patient. And as you can see, this individual definitely leaned up and she's going to be healthier. She's going to have better energy. Her skin's going to be better. All that good stuff. So definitely check out a fruit-based lifestyle. I have three books. So with all of my books, you're getting around 100 recipes. Okay, 100 fruit-based and vegan plant-based recipes. And what's very important to add is they all have photos full color photos, every one of these hundred recipes. It's important, right? To have photos. I see these recipe books without photos and I'm like, what? You need to be enticed. You need to see what the dish is going to look like. So check it out. A link is in the description below. All right. So the good thing about this blender is that it comes with three attachments. It's got like a big one, a medium one, a small one, and it can use it on the same blender, which is the main reason I got it actually. So what you do with this, actually th there's one more thing to add to the noodles. Just put in some capsicum. This is like, I'll put the exact um, details down below, but I don't know, about half a capsicum or so. Yellow and, yellow and red for color, makes it beautiful. Mix it in a bit. I also pick some greens. All these things add to texture, flavors, beauty of the dish. Also a little bit of rocket. Rocket is, oh, um, what do they, arugula? No, is that what they call it? Yeah, arugula in the US. And it also has some mushroom leaf. Let's get into the sauce. So the sauce is going to be kind of spicy, tamarind, sweet, sour. I love it, really, really good. You know, pretty much dehydrated tamarind here. Um, you're probably more likely to get hold of the paste and I think the paste might be better. You want it a bit sour, you know, you want that sour edge and this might be a little bit more on the sweet edge, but go for the tamarind paste. Okay, that goes in. We'll go up one and a half dates. We've got some sun-dried tomato, okay, um, just a couple. Uh, we also got, look, we've got these like um, finger limes. We're actually growing these here beautiful like amazing looking finger limes and you know you can just add a little bit try not to add the seeds so a little bit of that gives more of a sour hit chili chili just came from here and put some garlic garlic clove ginger quite a quite a chunk of ginger red onion all right chuck that one in little bit of salt, a little bit of salt water. We had this from the ocean. That's probably a bit um, local. Then we just, it's gonna rain on us. <laughs> and then we just like put this one in. Gotta mush it up a bit. That. Lemon juice, squeeze a lemon. That is it, I think, and we're gonna get blending before it rains on us. That's what happens out here in like a monsoon kind of climate. Any moment it could rain. Sometimes you have to start it slow to get it going too. Wow, whoa, that smells beautiful. Mm, that is really delicious. All right, so let's get the final, hang on. Let's put some tomato chunks in this dish, I'm like really good at cutting up tomatoes, as you can see. <laughs> Just slop it in there. Just a little bit more variation. Okay, so this is looking stunning just like this, right? Absolutely beautiful. But this is really the part that is the most exciting, adding the sauce and make sure you've got enough sauce so you can like moisten up all the noodles, you know, you wanna spread it throughout. But spread it around, you know, like mix it in before you eat it. Okay, and we've got some sprouts here. So we're gonna put some sprouts on top. And honestly, this is delicious. You have to try this recipe. Sweet and sour spicy tamarind noodles. Yummy, try it. Okay, so let's try some. Mmm. 
Oh, that is really delicious. Spicy, sour, sweet, all at once. Try it. Mm. Very, very popular, the Raw to Four book. Over 50 full color recipes. And all my best recipe, well, a lot of my best recipes in this book. And the updated, go fruit yourself. This one also has some beautiful 100% frugivore raw vegan recipes. And they're good ones, you know, good, delicious ones.